Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week here in the UK, from Monday the 24th of September until Sunday the 30th of September marks National Eye Health Week here in the UK. And essentially it's a week all about raising awareness of eye health and promoting you to look after your eyes. So this week I thought I would film some videos all about my eye conditions and about my eye health. Specifically, I'm going to be filming three videos on consecutive days, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, which will cover different topics that are about my eye health. Monday's video, which is today's video, is all about my condition, which is optic nerve hyperplasia. Tuesday's video is going to be about my nystagmus. And finally, Wednesday's video is going to be answering a very commonly asked question that I get asked on my blog and in real life about why I don't wear glasses or why glasses won't help me. So if any of that sounds like it might be of interest to you, be sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and then click the little notification bell next to it so that you don't miss updates when I post those videos. I would also just like to say that obviously it is National Eye Health Week. This week it's all about making sure that people know how to look after their eyes. And one of the ways that you can look after your eyes is to go and get your eyes tested. You should be getting your eyes tested every two years. So if you haven't had your eyes tested in recent years, then I would definitely suggest you go on down to your local opticians and book yourself in for an appointment to have your eyes tested. So I've spoken about my condition in the past. As you guys know, I have a condition called septo-optic dysplasia and optic nerve hyperplasia is part of that condition, but it's not just my eyes that are affected. It's a whole plethora of different things that are going on in my body, but I won't get on into that. There is another video that I filmed all about that, which you can view by clicking the card above my head. And I also wrote an article for the RNIB all about my septal optic dysplasia, which I will link down below. I was born with septal optic dysplasia slash optic nerve hyperplasia, but I wasn't actually diagnosed with it until I was around 18 months to two years of age. Optic nerve hyperplasia is something that you are born with. The other thing about optic nerve hyperplasia is that there are no known causes. Optic nerve hyperplasia tends to happen by chance. So basically, the way that we see is comprised of three stages to put it in very simple terms. You have your eye, which acts as the lens, like a camera would, which lets in light. You then have the optic nerves, which then transmit signals to your brain, and then your brain computes what it's seeing and turns it into what we know as sight. But the part that is affected when you have optic nerve hyperplasia is, you guessed it, it's the optic nerves. The optic nerves is a series of nerves that connect the eyes to the brain, which are made up of over a million little fibres. But what happens when you are born with optic nerve hyperplasia is that you are born with underdeveloped optic nerves. Your optic nerves kind of serve as the cable which connects your TV to your cable box. So you imagine your eyes are your cable box. It sends signals through the lead to your TV, which then converts it into a picture. So you've got your eyes, which is the cable box, the optic nerve, which is the cable lead, and then your TV, which is your brain. So what happens when you have optic nerve hyperplasia is that the lead that connects these two things together is impaired, it's broken, so it can't fully transmit the signals. Optic nerve hyperplasia varies in person to person. Some people are affected in both eyes, some just one, some they're completely blind in both eyes. It very much varies from person to person. Now, in my case, I am completely blind in my right eye without anything in it, not even light perception, and in my left eye, I have impaired vision in this eye. Optic nerve hyperplasia is not a regressive condition. It doesn't deteriorate through time. It has pretty much stayed stable and as it is from when I was born to the age I am now at 24. With optic nerve hyperplasia, you can also get other eye conditions like nystagmus, which is where your eyes wobble and shake and they can't focus on anything, which is also something that usually people with optic nerve hyperplasia will have as well as the condition. As well as being blind in my right eye and having no light perception in it, in my left eye, I also have impaired vision. Optic nerve hyperplasia is also the reason why I have something called no peripheral vision, which is basically where you can't see anything to either side of you, above or below you. You can only see what is central to you. I can't see anything like curbs, stairs, overhanging branches, any pavement clutter, anything that is below waist height, anything that's basically not in my direct line of sight, I'm not able to see. 
It's also the reason why my eyes are sensitive to light. When I was in drama class, when I was at school, when I was doing my exam, they had to turn on the overhead lights and take down the spotlights because I wasn't actually able to see anything whatsoever and there was a point where I thought I was going to fall off the stage. Optic nerve hyperplasia is also the reason why I have low acuity vision. Optic nerve hyperplasia is also the reason why I have poor depth perception, which is essentially where you are unable to judge the distance between yourself and an object. So this comes into play when I'm in the queue or I am trying to negotiate my way through a busy place like a restaurant or a cafe for example or a shopping center. It's difficult for me because I can't judge the distance between myself and that said object. Optic nerve hyperplasia is also the reason why I have narrow depth of field vision which is essentially where you can't see anything too far ahead of you. So for example things like bus numbers or number plates of cars or any far distance objects. It's why I have to use visual aids like a monocular to be able to see things that are at a further distance. In a nutshell, optic nerve hyperplasia is basically where there is a poor connection between your brain and your eyes. So it's not actually an issue with the eyes or the brain itself, the issue is with the connection between them. And actually, people always say to me when I mention that I have a visual impairment, they always say to me, but you don't look like you've got anything physically going on with your eyes. There's no physical or visual signs that you have a vision impairment. My eyes, weirdly enough, are perfectly healthy. The issue is that I don't have the connection that goes between the eyes and the brain. Of course, it can affect other things. People with optic nerve hyperplasia may also have other conditions like myself with their pituitary gland or their endocrine system. And in that case, it's always worth getting checked for those other symptoms. That's today's video on optic nerve hyperplasia. I hope you found it interesting and it explained a little bit about my eye condition. Tomorrow's video is going to be all about nystagmus. So if you want to know any more about that, be sure that you are subscribed and that you have clicked the notification bell to receive updates. And like I said, it is National Eye Health Week this week, so do be sure to go and get your eyes checked out if you haven't recently. And also please, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.